form called the deconstruction. It's a very old form, but it's probably new to you. So what's the difference? And what we need is an object. Something you like. <laughs> An instance of Java. Something you okay. like. Sorry, what's that? Cell phone. An instance of oh, yeah. the Java class, which is an object. Washing machine? You are selling me right out, Maddie. Oops. Selling me right. Let's do toaster. Yeah, okay, it's going to be toaster. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I love you. I love you. Enjoy how charming Steve is. Moving in, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like, I've had toasters my whole life, but, but buying one and putting it in my kitchen, it's crazy. Frankly, this is the happiest day of my life. And thank you for being frank with me, Marlene. That's what a good relationship is based on, frankness. <laughs> you know, Dan, I gotta say, sometimes- How about over there on the shelf? You're a little bit much. Okay, easy, <laughs> Marlene. <laughs> I just want to say that it's day one of Could moving in. Could you put in. the toaster down, Marlene? Because I would really appreciate it if we yeah, could continue just, moving in. Yeah, in a second. All right. We're at day one of moving in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to, you know... Carry that toaster for the rest of your life? <laughs> keep it chill and relaxed. Well, we're a permanent living together couple now, so things aren't going to be chill or relaxed anymore. I'm thinking about marriage. And that's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> okay, Dan, you know, I would just want to- What the poster, poster on the shelf, please, Marlene? No. It's driving me bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it driving you bonkers that I'm holding the toaster, Dan? Mm -hmm. It's like, ooh, why wouldn't you just put it down on the kitchen shelf where we're clearly going to need it? Okay, well, what's going to happen if we're picking out wall colors or deciding to have a child, and we have a disagreement. If this is driving you bonkers, then what's gonna happen when a real problem happens, I Dan? Hope if we have a real problem, and I point out an obvious solution to you, you'll just do it. Oh, well, I just do it. I would hope you just do it. Bad seat. <laughs> I'm sorry. The one right beneath the chalkboard. I'm right. an idiot. That is right. You have an assigned seat. This is your seat, Billy. The floor. Yes. Billy's right. floor. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Henderson. I'm listening, Mrs. Henderson. Sin. Thank you, class. This is first grade. It is the first grade of your life. <laughs> I gotta ask about kindergarten. <laughs> kindergarten is not a grade. Kindergarten is a silly little oh cuddly new kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, cuddly kind of thing. He's first, not very smart for grade one. Thank you, Sally. First grade. First grade is life. In the first grade, we will learn how to talk properly, how to eat properly, and how to sit properly, and until you've learned, Billy, you will not get a seat. Oh, another yeah. question right away on that, Mrs. Henderson. Yes, Billy. How am I going to learn if you don't give me a chair? <laughs> you will learn by observing. See, observing means to see something with your eyes. Very good, Sal. He's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, there's a right and there's a wrong way to do things, and there are only those two ways. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to, starting to get that. Is, is that why you only have two students in this class? One for rightness and one for wrongness? <laughs> That's right. And I told the principal that by the end of the term, I will have only two students doing right things. And he was okay with that? <laughs> This yes. game seems nuts to me, Mrs. Anderson. It seems perfectly sensible to me. Oh, Mrs. shut up! <laughs> Billy, you live in a small town. Population 500. <laughs> yep, that's small. And next door is the second grade. They've got a class of four. I can't wait till I'm going to be in grade two, Mrs. Anderson, oh, and you're going to get awesome. me there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't know. I feel the stack. The, the deck's been stacked against me. Really? What are you holding in your hand? <laughs> Two pencils. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> now look, marriage counseling doesn't have to be scary, which is why we're starting one on one. I'm sorry your husband didn't come on time. Me too. In fact, I'm quite disturbed by it, but frankly, not surprised by it. Oh, and, 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 and why is that? Well, he's just late all the time. He never seems to do anything right. Watch step. What are you holding in your hands? Oh, it's two Kleenexes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Take a whole box. A whole box? Yeah, they're cheap. I'm a psychiatrist. Pretty rich. <laughs> You're so kind and generous. I believe, and I don't want to speak out of turn here, but what you're feeling right now is transference. And the penny drops. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that the love that's absent in your relationship with your late husband is being transferred to me, uh, a person of authority, a calm manner. Well, you're the psychiatrist. Yeah, that's right. Are you sure we should be doing this with my husband not here? No. No, things are starting to feel real unethical to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's not a no. <laughs> because already I feel like my love for my husband in comparison to my like for you right now, has grown a lot in the past about 10 seconds. Oh, and your husband's winning. Well, yes, that was all part of my plan. <laughs> I'm a very good psychiatrist and not... Mm, not what? Suable. <laughs> not suable? Hmm, I wasn't even thinking about suing you until you said suable. <laughs> It's like I'm a reverse psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> wow, moving in together. <laughs> oh, toaster, that's fun. Um, probably there's a good spot for it. I think the right answer to that would be I'm going to keep holding it. Okay, is there something, uh, is there something wrong with my Dan, why would you suggest such a thing? You know, everything that I say is right and good all the time, and every decision that I ever want to make is the correct and moral right. Yeah, and I'm a stupid butt fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the worst. I'm the worst part of this relationship, and you rule. Well, that's why we're moving in together. We're just the perfect pair, right? Yeah, so that I can make you feel good watching me squirm in the dirt like a piece of shit. <laughs> and you have something to strive towards. Your begrudging acceptance? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Begrudging? Too. I'm not begrudging. You're a little begrudging. Uh, begrudging is kind of a negative quality, I would say. And as I've outlined before, everything I do is morally correct. You're right. I'm going to put my hands in the toaster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna figure this out, Dan. Thought we'd figure it out the usual way. Listen, hey, <laughs> we're just at the very first day of moving in, Dan. We have so much. If we can't get through something like this without you putting your hands in the toaster, what are we what gonna, are gonna do about <laughs> kids? Oh, I thought we'd say that at the same time. Let's <laughs> what would we do about Whoa. children? <laughs> Here we go. Come in strong on this one. Well, I'm what correct. are we gonna do about? Having kids. kids! Yes, having kids! We said it at the same time. I see we're already getting along great. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh my gosh! Doug, Danny, we'll be meeting time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just Doug and Danny! How's it going, Dale? It's my favorite time of the week when we roommates get to meet up. How about yeah. some brewski? Yeah! Oh! Smash! Woo! Dudes! Not done. <laughs> Dale, what about item number one? Uh. <laughs> Sweet! Uh. That's a 
sports. <laughs> you guys watch too much sports. What do you mean we it. watch too much sports? I think I see where he's coming from. I mean, when's the last time I just read a book? <laughs> read a book, guys? Doug, Danny, are you serious? Life is all about watching sports. Why do you think we have three different TVs playing three different sports at the same time? Question. And that was a great idea when we did it. But now I feel like we've become caricatures of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys think that maybe there's more than one right way to be a bro? <laughs> Guys, hand me another Brewski. I need to. Yeah, hand me another Brewski. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> <laughs>
not good enough. You said we can't wait for perfect. <laughs> and it's funny because you just said we, we, oh my gosh, we can't why? wait. But that's a fine spot. There's an outlet right next to it. Why? I said just a moment ago that perfection can come from anywhere, or at least I thought you it. You didn't say that. I thought, okay. okay. I'm not perfect, okay, Dan? Look, why are we fighting so much? It's our first day of moving in. It's just I thought the bread could go here, and just this would be toast land, you know? <laughs> just don't think it's right. I don't like that spot. It clashes with the backsplash. I cheated on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've cheated on you hundreds of times and never told you. But I just believe that there's multiple ways to be a good partner, and maybe not the conventional one of being Did faithful. You say it's hundreds the best of one. times? <laughs> you mean hundreds of different people or well, hundreds of sex acts? It depends what you consider cheating. <laughs> okay, like anything past blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Okay. Still hundreds? First of all, <laughs> I consider cheating to be Could you put that down? No, you I absolutely will not put this toaster down. Jesus. Okay? I've been seeing multiple marriage counselors. Sir, you're surrounded. Put down the jewel. Uh, can down. I just go this one? No. I think I could. No. <laughs> well, I think I could. That leads out to more cops. Ah, I'm calling your bluff, though. More cops. They're gonna shoot, they're not gonna wait like I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of those cops won't shoot me either. I think I'm just gonna keep this jewel. Here we go, you know. Arthur. That's my name, don't worry now. What? Put down the jewel. You want this jewel? Yeah. How about you shoot me in the face then, pig? <laughs> How about you just right here? You want me to put this toaster down, you jackass? You're gonna have to shoot me. I don't. I'm not going to shoot you. Just put the toaster down so we can talk, you good nuts. I'm not going to put it down because I know it makes you crazy when I do yes, it. Yes, you're really bonded when you do that. You're, you're like a whole other woman. What moving in make you do this? I'm just crazy. Is that a gun in your pocket? No. It is. I can see it's a gun. Oh, is it? Yes, it's a gun. Oh, well. Maybe I'll have to get rid of this toast. You are not making a lick of sense anymore. Oh. Just calm. Do you not want to move in with me? I don't want to move in with you. Of course I want to move in with you. I want to drive Name you. Name one reason. One reason you want to move in with me. Because I want to drive you mad. A real reason. Uh, because I... Because... Why is that not a real reason? Because no one... Really, you're not cartoon character. No one really does something just to just to be like the the cat chasing the mouse for all time. Ha! Oh! Why did you do that? Give me three good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> just tell me. Just if you're not ready to move in, just tell me. Well, someone stabbed me last week, <laughs> and it just oh my kind God. Of made me a little angry. Why did you tell me? I guess I was just embarrassed. <laughs> Did it happen in an embarrassing way? <laughs> yeah. I asked him to give me three reasons why he stabbed me, which was not a normal thing to do. <laughs> One minute. Okay. I, I get it. You're you're going through something. You. It's. I don't want to say it's making you crazy, but you're not yourself. So just put the toaster down and <laughs> talk about it. I love you. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs>